Okay, uh, here's our next little activity in class. We should have done the color match by now, and then we move on to skin tone color match. And I've got some more materials for you to help you along the way. Um, so you guys are gonna be using these portrait colored pencils. And what's really great when you open them up, if you can open them up, there you go. You have a whole array of these really great skin tone colors. Cause depending on who you are and how much you've tanned or not, or where you're from, um, everybody's skin tone is, is different. Okay. Um, so we got this ranges of like from peachy colors to pinks, to darker colors, browns, all this stuff. Um, and then you might be looking at the very end of this going, why is there blue, purple, and green in here? Um, and I'll explain to that. Um, remember that a lot that goes on with the color of your skin um, has to do with the undertones of your skin as well. And your skin is always changing depending on, depending on many things, depending on the weather, depending on how much, how warm or cold you are, depending on if you're squeezing and clenching or if you're relaxed. If you look to the other side, my hand, my two sides of my hand are colored very differently. If I start clenching and then pull away, you know, I'm like forcing the blood into different areas. Um, if someone flirts with you and you blush, you know, the, the blood goes to your skin and it makes you blush there. Um, so skin tones and skin colors are like constantly changing depending on the environment and what you're experiencing. So it's a really, really tricky. Um, and again, a big thing with skin tone, why it's kind of hard to capture skin tone is because we're not just capturing the surface level and the skin. We're actually also capturing the life underneath it and the undertones of the skin because our skin just holds us together. All these cells, all this blood, all our veins, um, affects how our skin looks on top. Our skin's a little bit translucent and it says, it says something about what's underneath. Um, so, you know, with different people, you're going to have different undertones. Some people have more yellowish undertones to their skin. Some people have more pinkish undertones. Some people actually have bluish undertones. Some people have purple. So that's why you do have this array of colors because it's not just about grabbing your peach colored pencil and going, yep, that looks like somebody's skin because it's much more complex. You have to do undertones as well. So um, that's why color pencil is so great for uh, working with people, um, like coloring in people, because we are colorful and we have um, layers and our color pencils are great for layering color. Now for this exercise, um, you're going to have to grab some magazines and just find some pictures of people, okay? So um, I have a few examples here. What you could do, you don't need to like cut out the entire face, just cut out a picture of somebody's skin. And um, then you're going to glue it there, for example. Just like that, okay? And then I had tape, but you guys can use glue. Ooh, oh my goodness. I think I never used tape before. Okay, and what you do, you just go right there. And then you're really going to stop and actually try to match the skin tone that you see. And again, you're going to have to layer your color. You're going to have to look at that skin tone and determine if it's warm, if it's cool, or if it's kind of neutral. And that's going to tell you what color pencils you need. And this is quite tricky because as you look at different people, they have different skin tones. Now this first person, they were a little bit more on the warm to neutral side. You see, you can see a little bit of very slight pinks and oranges and a little bit of browns in the undertones, okay? And then if you look at this person, especially their arm, okay, um, you'll see yellow undertones in there, okay? Um, and then if we open up to different people, Okay, got a difference between those two girls. You really see the warm oranges and almost reds in the undertones of her skin. 
And then this one, a little bit more on the, a little bit still warm, but a little bit more neutral, but warm to neutral. This one is very more clear, like the warmth. And this one is a little more neutral, but still slightly warm. You still see some oranges and stuff in there. And then this person seems to have almost kind of some cool tones, maybe almost a little bit of like a green undertone. Um, so you have to look very closely and really, really concentrate and just try to cut out like pictures of just the skin. No crazy details. Nobody, you don't need to draw and try and color match somebody's entire face, just a chunk. <laughs> um, and that's the instructions for this. So you're going to look through your magazines, find some chunks of skin, <laughs> um, cut it out, cut out the little pictures, glue them here, and then, you know, practice layering your color pencils till you match the skin tones that you see. And then, of course, we like to write our little recipes um, so that if we ever need to come back to that color, we know what we used. And that's the instructions.